Saido, some people believe that the Buddha lives in Nibbana. Can you explain if this is right view or wrong view? This is the wrong view. Okay, last time I also explained about three kinds of Renebana sensations briefly. You know, uh, Kilesa Renebana. The Buddha destroys all defilements with Aradapa's knowledge under the Bodhi trees when he became enlightenment. Then, all defilements completely cease since these times. Okay, this, this is called Kilesa Brinibana, the cessation of defilements. Since he has no defilements, so although he do Kamas as a Buddha, this Kama will produce, will never produce in the future. Okay, this Kama will never produce in the future to be reborn as a being, as a human being or Deva or Brahma, etc. That's why. As you know, Kanda Brinibana, then after 45 years of his Buddhahood, 80 years of his age, then he took final Brinibana. Then his five aggregates completely ceased. Since this time, he will never be reborn as a being. Okay? So, uh, for example, if there is no fuel, then fire will never exist. Fire will completely cease. Where is the fire? We cannot say they are existing plagues, completely cease. In the same way, if there's a no defilement, so the five aggregate also will completely cease. It will never arise in the future again. Okay? As you know, five aggregate is suffering. So, if there is a five aggregate, there will be suffering. So the Buddha destroyed all defilement. That's why after Kanda Brinibana, the Buddha will never be reborn as a being in any place. His fight against or suffering completely cease. So there's no existing place for Buddha or Arhanda, those who have already destroyed the defilements. Their fight against or suffering completely cease. So, they are thinking the Buddha or Arhanda will exist in one place after taking final Brunibana. It is only just wrong view. This is only just maybe Christian or other religions idea. This is a kind of such view, eternalism, the view of eternalism. 